everybody, we're back for another 44 Qs. This time it's for Breath and Imagination. And we have here with us today, Ye Wande Odeteyenbo. So, let's see if she is in. Yeah. Oh my, that was very deep. <laughs> Hello, I am here for the filming. Hi. All right. Some wig prep. Ooh, nice. I love these wigs over here. All right, here we go. Can you describe Breath and Imagination in three words? Um, inspirational, uplifting, Majestic. Nice. What's your favorite song from the show? Um, uh, Poor Pilgrim. <laughs> Have you ever performed opera before? Not professionally. <laughs> what about gospel? Yes. All right. What's your favorite musical of all time? Wicked. In the Heights. <laughs> wicked. It's Wicked. <laughs> They're good choices. <laughs> What's your least favorite musical? The Black Crook. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. <laughs> it's like the first musical ever in like 1866 or something like that. I clearly need to brush up on my musical history. <laughs> you should too. Let's check it out together. All right. What's your favorite play? Uh, right now, uh, schoolgirls, African Mean Girls play. Cool. What's your favorite candy? Anything that is gummy and sour. <laughs> What's your favorite sushi roll? Shum shum roll. Ooh. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. What's your favorite style of pizza? Oh, um, <laughs> Chicago style deep dish pizza of a kind made in Detroit. Okay, yes, you've talked about this before. What is it that makes Detroit pizza so amazing? Oh, it's just that, oh, <laughs> so much <laughs> cheese and, and sauce, and it's got this edge, not crust, like this just edge that's crispy and buttery and delicious. Ooh, it's fun. All right, what moment in Breath and Imagination is stressing you out right now? Hmm, stressing me out. Uh, learning lines. No. <laughs> No, um, what is stressing me out, well, not really stressing me out, but kind of like it's home for me yeah. is um, there's a monologue that my character Angel Mo says to um, Roland Hayes about um, how he can't give up because he's standing on the shoulders of those who have come before him. And um, being a black man in America, he has to work that much harder. And I find it kind of sad that um, in the context of the play, this is something she's saying in the 1920s mm -hmm. and it's relevant today. In wow. 2018, you know, black mothers have to tell their children you have to work twice as hard as your white counterparts, that you um, have to be careful every move you make, how you talk, how you walk, lest you be arrested or, or killed. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Whew. Yeah, deep breath. Excuse me. You want a Asian E. John stage for a moment, please? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> what was your first show here at the Lyric Stage? <laughs> and you worked with Davron in The Wiz, I and now do. you're working with Davron on this show. I am. What is the best part of working with him? Is this my interview? We just talk about Davron all the time? Oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> all right, answer this and then we'll go back to you. <laughs> so, um, honestly, I. Uh, hmm. Working with Davron. He's great. <laughs> I think it helps that we're really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. um, he's very supportive on and off stage, and he inspires me to be a better performer. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> he <laughs> might see the video. All right, so in The Wiz, you played both Eveline and Adapil. Mm -hmm. In real life, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Uh, <gasps> good witch. Uh -huh. You are a good witch. You wouldn't pull that fire. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to bake? Seven Up Pound Cake. Ooh, Ooh Grandma's recipe. Right. Oh, those are best, right? What is your favorite song? Uh, anything by Michael Jackson. <laughs> Red or white wine? Water. <laughs> like <laughs> Twitter or Insta? People see Twitter. I don't know, that's what the kids say. Uh, Instagram. <laughs> what is the most exciting part to you about the collaboration between the Lyric Stage and Front Porch? Um, I think uh, they're both committed to um, diverse casting in uh, creating opportunities for people of color. Yes. Um, so I think it's a really, it's a powerhouse collaboration. Great. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you for life right now? 10. Of course. And cake or pie? Cheesecake. Mm, so good. Is that a cake or a pie? Who cares? It's just delicious. Right? <laughs> sure. Is it? Oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, can I give you a top five? Sure. Okay. Seafood, especially shrimp. Uh, Jello, popcorn, grapes, dried mango. Ooh. What's your least favorite food? I eat everything. <laughs> um, chitlins? <laughs> Cat or dog? Dog. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Reading people's minds. Ooh. What's your go-to karaoke song? 
Um, on and On by Erica Badu or Proud Mary by I Can Tina. Fabulous. What's your favorite color? Turquoise and silver. iPhone or Android? Droid. <laughs> <laughs> Who's someone in town that you really want to work with but you haven't had the chance to yet? Oh, Megan Sandberg Zicky. Ooh, nice. What is this? What is something that people would be surprised to know about you? I'm terrified of scary movies. <laughs> <laughs> Can you play a note on the piano? Uh, I don't know if Maris. Maris will see. We'll hide it from Maris. Don't look Maris. Great, fabulous. What's your favorite fruit? Um, ooh, strawberries. <laughs> when I was younger, I um, ate so many strawberries one time that I got a rash, oh and I thought God. I was allergic. Oh my God. How many strawberries do you have to eat before someone thinks you have a rash? A whole bunch. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. All right, what's another lyric stage show that you're excited about this season? The Wolves. Mm. I'm excited and interested to see how they're going to change the space into a soccer field. It's going to be amazing, let me tell you. What mm. moment in Breath and Imagination is exciting you? Every time Davard S. Monroe opens his mouth to sing. Oh, right. Oh. So mm. gorgeous. <laughs> Do you have any pre-show rituals? Uh, yeah. Besides the like, traditional warming up. Yeah. Um, I sing and dance along to my favorite music. Usually it's like 90s R&B or Motown music. Nice. And I drink my special concoction. Ooh, what's in the special concoction? Uh, Bro coke tea, ginger root, lemon, and other stuff. Yeah, don't give away the full recipe. Nobody, <laughs> nobody else gets that. All right, if you weren't doing this career, what would you want to be doing? I would die. I think I'd be an OBGYN. I'm just fascinated. Birth and like bringing new life into the world fascinates me. That's lovely. We're glad you're, we're glad you're in this career. <laughs> so what's next for you? Um, what's next? Uh, life. So many things. Um, I actually have three shows coming up. All three with Davin, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I don't think I can disclose. I can disclose one of them. Okay, which one? <laughs> Ragtime. I'll do ra Ragtime at New York Theater. Excellent. Yeah. And your final question. Oh. Which is a surprise. What? Uh huh. Come on around and come. We have a question for you. Yay, Wanda, would you like a piece of Detroit style pizza? What? Shout out to hey, Yola. What? <laughs> Get out, out of here. We're going to give a shout out to Volo in Swamp Scott oh. who made a Detroit style pizza. Thank oh, you all gone since we started filming, but there That's you go. So Ladies and gentlemen, everybody watching, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us for another installment of 44 Qs. We will see you for the next one in 2019 for the Wolves, but until then, we can't wait to see you at the theater for Breath and Imagination. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> <laughs>